Uh, you know, and always walk like this. <laughs> it's just not fair on other people. I know, but not all transsexuals have got good fashion sense. Uh, have they? Some do look very... Butch. Well, I, I, I don't see it, because I've always thought of myself as a woman. I don't... Do you ever go like there? Um, have you ever been... Oh, you don't live in London. There's a club called The Way Out Club. Have you ever been? No, no, no. Well, it's all transsexuals. Uh, drag queens, uh, pre-ops, post-ops, um, and it's the only tra um, it's, it's the tranny club in London. It's the only one that they call the tranny club, and it's it's actually quite an experience because, like I told you, a lot of my friends and that, and you look at some of them, some of them are beautiful, and then some of them look like still look like me men in dresses, and don't make the effort to do to to look ladylike, to look girlish. You, you, you know what I mean? Where some just outshone the others, and, it, and it's very well, obviously there were some. Very people, eye there are some people who, who have the feelings, but unfortunately do have the body to go with it, um, yeah. and then that's unfortunate. But I've never. Why was you so young? Why did you have it? What, what, you know, you was 18 when you had your operation, yes. Yes. What, what, what did you feel you was ready for it then? I mean, did you? No, not? I wasn't ready for it, but I had it anyway because I couldn't live without it. Did you it. have counselling? Oh. Um, yes, I had counselling, but let's face it. Is he going to sing me a song? We've got all music people. I in, know, I met them in the lobby, it's they're very nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a very. I like Cockneys. They always. Uh... you got a boyfriend or a husband or anybody? Um, oh, don't talk to me about men, they are just. I'm just figuring about my career right now because yeah. I've had no. It's just a bit like me enough. Fass. Exactly. Fass is. Did you think Fass is nice looking? He's looking for a woman. Yeah, but oh, you, I think the soul and the heart is the most important thing. Oh. Oh. Fass, actually, you said that the other day. Uh, about. <laughs> <laughs> In so in the end of the day, you know, you can have a chocolate box, but what's inside? Exactly. Well, it's, it's, it's so true. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Oh. Most of the beautiful ones. When I went out with Terry, he has a bit no soul. Really? Yeah. Well, you're an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> this is obviously your cameo in your relationship, which I was ex. just... Ex. Yes. No, I know, but the way you work together still. I have to have cameras, to don't speak off screen. Really? Yeah. We're not oh. really there. <laughs> right, so you, he hurt you then? That's the other way around. You, but I, yeah, but I think you should forget about the past, shouldn't you? Yeah. Can I forget you can't. You, if you've been hurt, then, you know, it's very difficult to uh to Thank forgive. you, Lauren. You're right, Lauren. But, um... So, so why did you get... You got stick because you come from such a small... I mean, did you did you go national health or did you pay private? I paid private. Yeah. So so even though like my friends pay in private. Did you make a million out of your antiques or something? Did no, I? no. She does, and he sizzles. <laughs> I like say, Mum, I went to her the other day, she threw it when I come in Dodds, because she'd always run over me. And I went, <gasps> like that, she went, what? I said, you nearly burnt me. Yeah. So do you live in Wales? For the time being. I was going to say, well, how can you back there, there, Wales? Is. There's not much to do, is there? Well, in New Cardiff. Why do you move somewhere that's a bit more open-minded? Well, the thing is, I'm working on my career, so I have enough money then, get a job, and then get enough money then to move. You know, it's not that easy. I, you know, I, I went to Manchester to live, but I miss my mother so much I had to come home. Get her to move with you? Well, she can't. She's got a business. She's got my father, you know. What? Six months I was away. But I did it, though. What part of Wales are you from? Norfolk? Cardiff, South Wales. Oh, you're from Cardiff. There's a few clubs up there. Do you go like clubbing? Um, I, I went to Barbilla. I go to...
Nice Can you there. sing here? Go on, give me a little song. It's my birthday. I'll get that man to play the guitar if you sing it. I'm not the best, though. I'm not, you know, like... I'll you know. tell you if you're good or not. I know you are. <laughs> That's why I don't want to sing. <laughs> That's why I don't want to sing, because you'll say I'm not very good. Simon Cowell's got nothing on her. You've got a good voice. No, yeah. Simon Cowell, the critic. Pop Idol critic. Oh, my God. And you, you expect me to one. sing? Go on. Go give us a little song. You're a drama teacher, so you shouldn't be embarrassed. And you're going to be on TV. You're on TV, and it's good for your career. You have an egg beyond stars in your eyes. You yeah. Eyes? You could be the new Sheila Easton. Sheila Easton. Excuse me. No. I'm just going to sing a little bit then. Um, my brothers are going to go. Oh my God, no, Lauren, no, because they will be. They'll be watching right now. Um, <clears throat> it's a very difficult because you've got to get your posture right and your breathing. It's a bit difficult when you're having your hair done. Well, yeah. well, that's how I sing. Oh, Come you don't heart. sing your teach your students to sing like that because they'll have no career love. <laughs> 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 well, oh, he's a nasty bastard. What, the violin? What? what We've what? had the violins in, uh, we've got a guitarist. Leo can play the guitar. Mm. I'm a jam, I? Can't you, Leo? Cool. Look, he's brought his guitar well, I in. said I'd sit on his lap when he sang the song. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Leo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you said you weren't going to mention that. <laughs> Lauren, you're very forward. Yes. <laughs> you just said you were sick of men and yeah, looking at you just said no. that you're... No, but... Uh, that you're uh, flirting. I'm not. No, because I've got a nice, clear mind. It's your mind that's not clear. <laughs> His mind's filthy. Mm. Muddy. You know what it is, though? It's a cover-up from what your natural character is. I'm really say. shy. I think mean, you're a very <gasps> sensitive person. I, I wear my heart on my sleeve. It's just that you've got this... You've, you've got an awful lot of things that you need to sort out first. And once they're sorted out... I need to get in there, <laughs> When you sort out these, these, these problems you've got, then... The facade will be over and we'll see you true. Do you think my quack's making me pay too much money? <laughs> so you see a counsellor, do you? I see a quack, yeah. Sleep like Wayne so fast. Hairdresser's a natural counsellor. A what, sorry? Hairdressers are natural counsellors. Yes, yes. Well, they listen to people all the time. Yeah, and you've got a diff you get different sets of experiences that they come into contact you do, with as well. But the main thing is you've got to experience life. Yeah. You know, and once you do that, you can give advice. Exactly. Although it sometimes doesn't work out for you, you know. You can still give advice. Yeah, yeah. always away. You can always see things from a distance, though, can't you? You can never see when it's right in front of your face. No, no. No, that's right. And when your heart's, like, making a decision for you, yeah. you've got to get somewhere to say, use your head. Exactly. <laughs> And they're going to LA as well. And you might be going with him. As a guest singer. Yeah. Oh, Did well. Did you ever just think? Did you like it? She's a bit of a flirt. Oh, tell her. We'll Ooh. have a little gossip once you've had your hair washed about my lady Lauren. Was she flirting with him? I thought you said you're not interested in yeah, men. Yeah, she said she was sick of men a minute ago. <laughs> you're concentrating on your career. I know she said she wants to sit on the LR. I know. This is what we just said, that I'd sit on this lap, but he's saying that doesn't mean anything. Right. Sitting on somebody's lap, you're waiting for something to rise. In your 